Welcome to episode seven fifty four. Stephen Udvarhasi, a Hungarian refugee, to airline leasing king. Nine lessons. This is an outline of episode seven fifty four. Lesson one to lesson five. Here is lesson six to lesson nine. Lesson one. Do not accept your fate. So he escaped from Hungary. Look, there's two there's two experiences. You can go through a harsh situation like what we went through in Eastern Europe, in Romania, and Poland, and Czech Republic, Hungary, and there's people that accept their fate and say, "Look, this is what happened. There's nothing I can do about it." Uh, there's those that will not accept their fate and actually do something about it, either escape or find some dramatic way of altering their Their circumstances. Lesson two: Airplane equals freedom. In my naive, childish mind, I equated aviation with freedom, and that really became the driving force. So, in my career, I purchased more than three thousand commercial jets. Lesson three: A lifetime of passion and devotion. A lifetime here means. Over fifty years. In my case, I did know. I studied a lot about aviation and airlines ever since I was like a a young teenager. So, lesson four: first business success in college. Turns right. Your first deal you did for Air New Zealand when yes. you were still a college student. Yes, a you made fifty dollar deal. Uh, you made fifty thousand dollars profit there. Yes, so a great way for a college student to realize there is a world of opportunities out. There. Right. And I connected an airline in Alaska、right. with an airline in New Zealand.、Mm-hmm. It was a win-win for everybody. Right. Lesson five: bankrupt at age twenty-three. Well, life was not easy for the young entrepreneur. Bankruptcy at age twenty-three. Experiencing all the dimensions of a business failure at a young age, and the accompanying disappointment, in retrospect, became a strategic blessing. And another part of my valuable education that you just can't learn in school. Lesson six: Be the landlord, not the renter. I realized that being the owner and the lessor of the airplane was the right side to be on, rather than being the tenant and the operator. It's almost like if you rent an apartment, your rent is paying the mortgage of the landlord, and so the landlord is building up equity with your money as a tenant. So renting an airplane to operate an airline simply made the owner of the aircraft rich and made the operator of the airplane poor. Lesson seven: Take advantage from propeller age to jet age. 1960s,、uh, the jet age was beginning to come on board,、mm-hmm. and what I realized is that airlines were flying、uh, low-cost propeller aircraft. Right. By low-cost, I mean low acquisition cost. Right. And as airlines were transitioning to the jet age, they needed to find a mechanism to get jet planes without having to buy them. Right, right. And so I came up with this idea of creating a small leasing company. Right. That focused on、That's、foreign airlines. Mm-hmm. Because、mm-hmm. the U.S. airlines had access、yeah. to capital. Right.、But、Lesson eight: Not just leasing airplanes, he also participates in the design of airplanes. Two and a half years, we've been working very closely with Boeing on optimizing the design of the seven eight seven ten. More than a dozen high level、uh, planning meetings on the design optimization,、uh, and then we've had separate meetings with Rolls Royce and、uh, GE on giving us additional engine thrust and efficiency because it's a bigger airplane. Nine. He's a tough negotiator. Right. You're you're known to be a tough negotiator when it comes to deals. There was once I believe Herb Kelleher who said you wanted free lifetime passes on Southwest, yes, yes. and he never gave them to you. No, he gave them to my wife. <laughs> so your wife has free lifetime passes on Southwest. She doesn't want to use it. <laughs> But where, where does that tough in this business?、Mm-hmm. I mean,、uh, a one percent error could cost millions. Right.、So、right.、Uh, one has to be. Sharp. One has to be、uh, compassionate to、mm-hmm. your client, but in the end, you know we're capitalists, and we have to find ways to make a small return. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. 
wishing everyone peace and prosperity.